ET. Let's go terrestrial. Two oh five point six. I can't tell if the body is starting to tighten up right now or it's like all in my head, but 205.6, that's gonna be the lowest weigh-in of this prep. Feeling good. That last weigh-in allowed me to bring my weekly average down to about 207 for the week. So I lost three pounds this week from last week's 210 average. So I'm pretty happy about that. And one thing I should mention as far as like this weight loss and how I keep my calories so high, my calories right now are at about 2,700 calories. And a lot of people bulk on like 27 to 3,000 calories. So my calories are like fairly high for me to be losing three pounds a week, but I will say I am hitting cardio every single day. I hit about 30 minutes of cardio, either on the Stairmaster or on the treadmill. So when you guys look at my calories and you're like, damn, 2,700 seems like super high calories, consider that I'm putting in that grind every day when I go to the gym and doing 30 minutes of cardio after. So that definitely plays a factor in me being able to lose weight while keeping my calories so high. But right now I'm about to make some breakfast. We got a big leg day coming up and I'm excited because we hit some heavy squats today. What do you think about the outfit? Yeah, wrinkled. Wrinkled? No? Yes? Yeah, that's really wrinkled. Eight. Eight out of ten? Something, something light, you know? Something light. I guess eight, maybe yeah. seven. Come on, seven? I give the shoes. S seven? Shout out to the real MVP here. The last probably three, four Instagram pics you guys have seen on my Instagram. Except the last one I was in a gym. Patty got that one, but my mom has been grabbing these pics for me, man. It's so convenient having a mom who supports the grind and was just like take time out of her day to help me get a pic. Everybody's got busy schedules. Ours kind of align sometimes. So we're about to go out and get a pic right now. I just threw on a random fit. I need a pic for this week and um, I'm gonna get a pic for her too. She's gonna post a pic on her gram. She's actually more consistent than I am with the Instagram pics. So hopefully- Not my fitness. This yeah. is starting the fitness. Journey. She's starting her fitness Instagram. So once she gets that all started up, I'm gonna shout her out and we're gonna we're gonna get some content rolling for her. I'm down to produce any content for her she wants. So it's funny, we were just talking about this at home that champion right now, or I guess in like the last year, kind of start like buzzing again. It's like one of those brands that I consider to be on the same level as Gildan. Like no one wants to wear Gildan t-shirts. Like they always think Gildan is cheap, but Gildan and Champion have the same quality, same material shirts. Like I can vouch for like the blend, but people think Champion is like some like high-end like fashion brand, but no, it's really not. It's really not. I honestly only bought this shirt at the time because it was hype. I don't even like the shirt. I can't lie, I don't really even like this shirt, but I need a white shirt for today for this pick that I wanna take. So, you know, I brought this out the closet and I was like, you know, I'm gonna rock the champion today, but champion, champion's not hype. I get this question a lot about like how I edit my videos or what I use to edit my videos. I've answered this question like so many times that I usually don't really like to respond because I've like answered it so much, but I have a video up on my YouTube channel called how I edit my Instagram photos. So if you wanna know, just go watch that video. I kind of go into pretty like, pretty into detail in that video on how I do it. And I'll take you guys through editing a photo from start to finish. So go watch that video if you wanna know. I'm gonna get this photo and then we're gonna head back home and try and get the gym in before I go to a friend's later. I don't wanna dive in and miss me. Guess I see the things that they wishing on me. Hope I got some brothers that outlive me. Ain't gonna tell the story, she was different with me. God's plan, God's plan. All right, so just as I was heading into the gym to hit this leg day, I actually got my email from Patty Lips regarding my new protocol for the rest of this prep. So this included everything from my new cardio protocol, my new workout plan, my new macro routine, and just a bunch of really helpful information that I'll probably share over the next couple of videos. Today, I'm gonna focus on the workout. I had Eddie in the gym with me today, helping me film. It just helped everything go a lot smoother. Focus on the workout without me trying to focus on getting angles alone. So yo, I appreciate you. Eddie for coming in and helping me get some clips and for just smashing a good workout with me. Uh, the first thing on the menu was a bench press four by five with 80% of my one rep max. I will say this was super killer way to start out the workout, but I did make it through all four sets with the weight that I was supposed to be using. So the next thing we moved on to was an incline Smith machine. It's one of those things that I usually don't do that often. Um, I do do incline bench press, but never on the Smith machine. A little different having the bar in a fixed range of motion, but we smashed that for three 
three sets of eight to 10. And then we moved on to a decline cable fly. I usually never do a push day without including some type of fly. So it's dope that this is in here. Uh, we did this for three by 12 to 15 reps, really focusing on squeezing out the bottom here. The next thing we moved on to was something that was actually super killer also. It was a standing Arnold press. I have never included this in any of my workout routines. I've included standing dumbbell press, but never an Arnold variation. So four sets by 12 reps with a one minute rest time. And then the next thing we moved on to was a rear delt fly, superset it with some leaning cable lateral raises. Super high intensity superset here, really focusing on the rear delts on the first movement and focusing on the side delts on that second movement. Last thing we did was a close grip bench press. And by this time I felt like super wrecked. So my weight wasn't super heavy on this, but we did complete the exercise three sets by eight reps. So like I said, as far as protocols, I'll be going over a little more information on how things are going to be changing from this week on. All in all, it was so nice to switch out my workout, do something different. And I'm going to really, really track into detail what I'm doing in this program. I'm going to be tracking all my weights, just trying to make sure I'm really progressing as the weeks goes on, even though my weight's going to be going down. And that's like the secret to getting stronger as you're cutting is to just track progress and make sure you're still pushing weight as if you are still bulking. So I am going to mix up a post-workout protein shake right now and I had some new protein the other day salted caramel chocolate from mutant honestly that was a 10 out of 10 arguably the best protein I've ever had and then I picked up some of this strawberry mutant and I still have a little bit of vanilla so gonna mix up two scoops of that in the next video I'll take you guys through the workout but I'll also fill you guys in on how my nutrition is changing and on how my cardio sessions are changing but I'm gonna end the video off right here so if you're new join the crew subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like before you leave and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video